Hello, welcome to the Tachumer method for speed mathematics. This method was elaborated by the Russian engineer and mathematician Jakob Trachtenberg. The main idea of the method is to use a series of rules to do fast mental calculation. You will see that this method is very easy to learn, so anyone can be proficient. To start, you only need to be able to count. No multiplication or division tables will be needed. You only need to memorize a few rules and after that arithmetic becomes easy. We will advance the rules in little by little. So please be sure to know and memorize the previous rules before further advance in the course. Some suggestion for doing for using this material. First one is memorize the rules presented in the series of these videos. Second one is practice. So let's start. In the case of the multiplication by 11, the first rule is that the last number in the multiplicand is put down as the right hand figure of the answer. Next, each successive number of the multiplicand is added to its neighbor at the right. And finally, the first number of the multiplicand becomes the left hand number of the answer. For example, let's say that we want to do this operation. So the first rule is going to be drop the number 6. So we write the number 6. Next one is going to be add 6 plus 9, which is going to be 15. So we write 5 and we carry 1. Next one is going to be add the number 8 plus 9. And also we need to we need to add the one that we carry. So it's going to be eight plus nine plus one. Total is going to be eighteen. We write eight and we carry one. And we see that our last number now is going to be eight, but we cannot write it it yet. We still need to add the number one that we were carrying. So it's going to be eight plus one nine and we write that number. Now we have our answer. Let's do another example. In this case, we do the same. We drop the number four. Then we need to add four plus one, which is going to be five. We write that five. Then we need to add nine plus one, which is gonna be 10. We write zero and we carry one. Next is gonna be at 5 plus 9, which is going to be 14, plus the one that we carry, which is going to be 15. We write the number 5 and carry the number 1. Next, we need to add the number 2 plus 5, which is going to be 7, and the one that we carry, which is going to be a total of 8. We write that number. And now we, that we are in the final number, we can write the number 2 because we have not other number that we carry. So we write that too. And that is the answer for this operation. Here are some more examples that you can use to practice with their answer. Let's talk about the rules for the multiplication by 12. It said, double each number in turn and add its neighbor at the left. So we need to double that number. For example, it's going to be <coughs> 6 double is going to be 12. And we have no neighbor at the left. So we're just going to write the number 2 and ca the number 2 of 12 and carry that one. We write number 2. Next one is going to be double the number 5, which is going to be 10 plus 6, which is going to be 16 
plus the number 1 that we carry. Total is going to be 17. Rewrite number 7 and carry the number 1. Next one is going to be double the number 2, which is 4, plus 5, which is 9. And now we need to add the number 1 that we carried. So in this case, it's going to be 10. We write the number 0 and carry that 1. Next one, we need to double the number 1, which in this case is going to be 2 plus 2, and add the one that we are carrying, the top, the, which is 1. So right now, our answer is going to be 5. We write that 5. And we need to do one more time. In this case, we add a 0 for making this operation even easier. We know that the double of 0 is 0 plus their neighbor. That is going to be 1. So write that 1. And that is the answer that we are looking for. Let's do. As you can see, <coughs> these are some examples, some exercises that you can use to practice. If you use this method, use these rules, you will find out that doing this operation becomes very, very easy. So please practice. This is the end of this part of the course. In the next videos, we will cover more rules to continue this method and doing fast multiplication. I hope that you find this material interesting. Thank you. Have a nice day.